Hi everyone, in this video we'll discuss the different versions that FL Studio installs on your system and also the VST plugins compatibility between the 32 bits and the 64 bits versions. When you browse to the FL Studio installation directory, you can see different FL Studio.exe launch files. Let me briefly explain them all to you. FL compatible memory is actually the old default FL Studio executable, which is a 32 bit version and therefore gives you access to only 2 GB of your system's RAM. The default executable is also a 32-bit version of FL Studio, but gives you access to 4 GB of RAM. This because it's a tweaked FL Studio version. In all the FL Studio releases, this was the FL Extended Memory Executable. FL64 gives you access to 512 GB of RAM. FL Scaled versions scales the user interface according to your system's display settings, which is useful in particular for smaller screens like laptops for example. But you can also scale this manually afterwards in any executable version of FL Studio. If you use FL Studio 64-bit version, you can still load 32-bit plugins, and also the other way around, since not all plugins are available in both 32 and 64-bit versions. Now when you do this, the plugins automatically will go into what's called the bridge mode. You can see this here. Now this bridge mode uses a little more CPU. So if you use FL Studio's 32-bit version, it's recommended to use 32-bit plugins. And if you use FL Studio's 64-bit version, it's recommended to use 64-bit plugins. But of course you can't always avoid this because maybe your favorite plugin is only available in 32 or 64 bits. But if they are available and you've installed both the 32 and 64 bit versions of the plugins, FL Studio will mostly choose the right one automatically. Now here's a cool fact about FL Studio's 32 bit and 64 bit compatibility. If you've started a project in FL Studio's 32 bit version and decided to finish it in the 64 bit version, you can just open that same file in the 64 bit version and all the plugins will automatically convert to the 64 bit version. And if there isn't a 64-bit version of that plugin installed, FL Studio will just simply automatically bridge it. Now even though this seems obvious, FL Studio is actually pretty unique with this feature compared to other DAWs. They don't even have this 32 64 bits compatibility bridge option, or any other option for that matter. You have to actually purchase an external software to achieve this, which is not cheap and doesn't even really work that well. So, for those hating on FL Studio, well, that's it for this video. Now that you're more familiar with FL Studio and know which version you want to use, let's start setting it up. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.